So it typically takes about 70 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. So you've got to boil out 69 gallons of sap to make one. So it comes into a float box over here. It's the same thing as what's right in front of you there. Uh, it, it's as the liquid level goes down, it lets it warm and it floats up and closes it off about. And this pan here is the food pan. Those long are empty. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're hollow for fire below, and they allow more surface area. So it said two or three inches of super hot li liquid on the bottom. This allows 12 inches of liquid to all be relatively close to that. Awesome. All be to the heat source. Yeah. So as it gets thicker, it moves through this pan over to this blue pan. Or sorry, not blue pan. Float box. Yeah. And then that regulates this one sugar pan. <laughs> It's four separate areas that's on a gradient. So as the sap gets thicker, it moves through here, over here, through here, through a pipe in the back here, up to here. This is where we draw logs. <laughs> wow. It's boiling, well, that, yeah, when it's boiling, it, as it gets thicker, it naturally just pushes itself along okay. over to here. When it gets over to here, this is where we draw it off. This year we got an auto draw off. So what that does, it's a, it's a computer system that opens and closes the valve depending on the temperature. Uh -huh. So sap always becomes syrup at seven and a half degrees above boiling. So it always reaches 60, if it's seven and a half degrees above boiling, it's at 66 percent sugar. You can kind of line those up together. So that changes from day to day. So every every day when we start this up, we'll come up here, kind of find, start up the evaporator, find out where the boiling point is that day, and then we'll set this bottom number to the boiling point, or a seven and a half degrees above that boiling point. Wow. And then when that top number matches that bottom number, it will open the valve and let sap out till it cools down a couple point point couple degrees. And it will shut the valve, and then when it heats up again, it will open it and close it. What we had to do before was watch that thermometer right there until it got yeah. to a certain point, open it, wait, and, and then close it. The hard thing about that is when it gets to 66% sugar, it will burn in the blink of an eye. Yeah. And when it burns, the best case scenario is you ruin all the sap in the pan. The worst case scenario is you ruin the pan. Yeah. And that's expensive. Yeah. So that that is a huge time saver and potentially money saver. Wow. Uh, this is a wood fire evaporator. We fire it every ten to fifteen minutes. Oh. Uh, and we burn it at a thousand to eleven hundred degrees up there in the stack. So it's a lot hotter down here. Yeah. We put we add more wood when it gets down to eight hundred to nine hundred. This thing will actually start to shake a little bit when it really is gone. How did you get all that in your head? Because uh, right now I'm out.